Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of Blazor Train, I'm going to show you how to manage users and roles in the ASP.NET Core Identity System using an open source library that I've written called AVN Identity Manager. Now, this code is based on the excellent Identity Manager UI GitHub repo by M. Guinness, an MVC application that lets you manage users and roles. As I said, originally it was an MVC application complete with jQuery and an API controller that does the heavy lifting, but what if you want to embed that functionality in a Blazor application, let's say? How about a Windows Forms app or a WPF app? That's why I built this class library. It goes everywhere. Now, this is Blazor Train, so I went the extra mile to build a Blazor server demo that uses AVN Identity Manager. You can always put it behind an API controller so it can be accessed by a Blazor WebAssembly app, but heck, you can do that, right? Well, if you're interested in the .NET 7 version of this library, because this is .NET 8, check out the links in the GitHub repo to the video and repo for the old version. So, get your cold, burnt coffee ready, because Identity Management in Blazor is coming up right now, right here on Blazor Train! Okay, so as I said before, this is an update to uh, AVN Identity Manager .NET 7 version, the Identity Manager library. And unlike that library, this one is a self-contained library. That means the host app doesn't have to have any identity configuration whatsoever. Also, you can now switch off databases on the fly by supplying a different connection string and Perhaps most dangerously, you can change the user's password without requiring the existing password. This actually came as a request from a customer who had that feature in previous authentication schemes and uh, their customers demanded it. So it's there if you want it. So you can uh, pull down this repo here and here's the AVN Identity Manager library project. There's a Blazor 8 server demo, and there's also a console demo. So you can check those out uh, on your own time, but uh, it's easy, just as easy to use this within Blazor as it is within a console app, within a Windows Forms app, a WPF app, whatever. It's all just .NET stuff. So let's start by creating a new console project and we'll sort of approximate what this console demo does. So I'll create a new project, a new console app, doesn't matter what we call it, it's just for our demo. Now it's going to be a .NET 8 console app, everything else is the same. So before we get started, let's add some packages to the console app. You can do this any way you want, just as easy for me to paste them in. Alright, so we have AVN Identity Manager. That's my uh, NuGet package. And then we have some dependency injection and logging if you want it. We do need dependency injection, don't need logging. But we'll put it in there anyway. Alright, so here's the simple demo. Okay, so if you've never seen how to configure a console app with a service provider, this is how you do it. So you create a new service collection and you just add whatever you want onto that. We're going to add logging and add identity manager. We're not actually using the logging, but I thought this was really cool to show how to do that. And then you call build service provider. And then you can pull out a service with get required service. So user management service is in AVN identity manager. And that's what I'm going to use to do all the stuff. Now, what can I do? Well, look, I show a menu here. We can create a new auth database. We can switch auth databases. And this also came from a customer request. Um, basically, they want to be able to, within an application, switch authentication databases to manage different users and roles in different databases. 
So we can add a user, we can add a role, we can modify user roles. In other words, what roles does a particular user belong to? We can delete a user, we can delete a role, and when you do either of these, you have the option of removing the assignments. So if you delete a user, you can delete all the role assignments for that user. If you delete a role, you can delete that role assignment from all the existing users. You can show all users, show all roles, and change password. Now, this is a demo, okay? I would not normally say you should put a, a, a connection string in code, but it's just a demo and it's a, you know, a local DB database. There's nothing crazy about it and it's just an auth database. So just change this to whatever your connection string is that you want to manage in the real world. And you can, of course, pull that from configuration, blah, blah, blah. All right. So we got this welcome to identity manager console demo. Um, and depending on what you select, it goes and does one of the following things. And so this just shows you how to do all the stuff that AVN identity manager does. So when you initialize a database with a connection string, that's what that does. And then you can change the connection string to whatever it is. That's how you switch databases, right? Change connection string. And then you can add a user. You get their name, their email, their password. And you pass all that to create user async. Couldn't be easier. Add role. You want to add a role by name, create role async. Again, very easy. Modify user roles. First, we're showing all the users, and then we say enter the username, and we get that user from the database. Then we say show all the roles. And so for that user, all the roles that the user is in get shown. And then you can say enter roles to assign in a comma separated list. And it updates the user with the user and the roles. For delete a user, obviously you want to be very careful with this, but you enter the username, you get the user. And if you want to delete the assignments, it's a Boolean, yes or no, and that's it. To delete a role, similar thing. You get all the roles, you ask for a role. Do you want to delete the user role assignments? And that's a Boolean that you just pass. Show all users, simple, get users. Show all roles, get roles. Now read password is just a method that I have here to let the user enter a password in the console. Uh, and show uh, asterisks. Change password, pretty simple. We show all the users, we let the user pick a user by name, and we read a password for, into password one and password two, we make sure they match, and then we create this reset password model with the user ID, the password, and the confirmed password pass that in success all right so to test this i'm going to create a new blazer app a blazer web app with authentication and we'll use the same connection string as we're using here so i'll copy that connection string and we'll create a new blazer project doesn't really matter what it's called but we do want to set individual accounts and we'll set it to server. Make it easy. Okay, now the only thing we have to change, of course, is the connection string. So we'll go in app settings. There we go. Now, if I want to use roles in this, right, if I want to access the roles, I need to add one line of code in the program CS which is right here where we say add identity core. We're also going to say add roles, identity role. 
Now, remember I told you you didn't have to have uh, identity configuration in order to use the uh, Avian Identity Manager. That's true, but we're not using it here. This is a regular Blazor web app that is using the authentication database, right? Over here in the console app, we did not have to do any of that. And that's the point. So here's the console app. And here's my demo app. So let's first show all users. No users. So I'll go ahead and register over here. Confirm my email. Okay, now let's go back and show all the users again. There we go. We have one user. All right, so let's log in as that user. There you go. And now I'm going to log out, and over here I'm going to change the password. And we'll pick my username. And enter the new password. Notice it doesn't ask me for the existing password. Again, this was a feature request from a customer, and uh, they wanted to just be able to enter a new password for uh, on the user's behalf if they've completely forgotten it and the forgot password doesn't work for some reason. The email is broken. I don't know. They wanted it. All right, so I'll change it here. Okay. User password updated successfully. And of course, if they don't match, it's going to tell you. All right, so now let's try to log in again. I'll try the old password. That doesn't work because I changed it. Here's the new password. There we go. We're logged in. All right, I'll log out again. Now let's look at roles. I'm going to show all the roles. There are no roles, so we'll add a role call it admin. There it is. And now I'm going to modify user roles. So I'll hit five, enter the username, carl at pop.com. And the roles, I'm just going to say admin. That's it. And now I am in that admin role. So let's test that over here by making the, the counter icon in the nav menu only visible to authorized users in the admin role. So I'm going to go over components, layout, nav menu. And down here in the counter, I'll wrap that in an authorized view. And I'll say roles equals admin. And that means that anything inside this authorized view will only show up if the user is authorized, i.e. logged in, and in the admin role. All right, so let's try it again. All right, definitely not there. Log in. There you go. I'm in the admin role, so it shows up. Now, just to show that this works, I'll change this to something else. Blah, blah, blah. And it shouldn't show up at all. There you go. So there's a lot more to this, obviously, and you can mess around with it. Go get it at AVN Identity Manager on GitHub. And uh, now back to you in the studio, Carl. Now you can find this code, detailed instructions, and a list of resources, including M. Guinness's Identity Manager UI project, right here on my repo. And if you can't find it, don't email me. I'll be walking through the quiet car with a cell phone jammer. Man, I love it when obnoxious people suddenly think their phones are broken. Hey, thanks for riding the rails with me today. This is where I jump off. I'll see you next time. Blaze a train!